Hey guys, I'm Eddie Pittman, and uh, I want to tell you a little something about building your, your toolbox for drawing. When I was a, a kid, I, there was a local TV station that ran a commercial for a, a trade school around town uh, that taught, I think, automotive repair or something like that. And they said that if you came to the school, they'd give you an empty toolbox, and then each week they teach you how to use a tool and then give you that tool, and you could put it in your toolbox. And at the end of the course, you would have a toolbox full of tools and you would know how to use those tools. And that's really important because you wouldn't uh, grab a wrench to, um, you know, to hammer something into place. Obviously, even I know how to use tools that way. I thought, that, you know, this is a great analogy for the kind of things uh, that we have in, in drawing as well. We have a toolbox, a, a, a box full of these tools artistic tools that we can use like line and tone and contour and and perspective and all of these are actually individual tools and we have to know when to use them and um, and how to use them. So I'd like to share with you guys probably one of the most important tools in drawing that I know of and that's the tool of a cross contour line. Now when we're drawing on a two-dimensional surface with a pencil or a pen, whatever our, our choice of media is, we are trying to translate a three-dimensional world and to a two-dimensional surface. And in order to do that, we want to express a sense of form that we see in the three-dimensional world. And one way to do that is to use a cross-contour line. And that's a line that doesn't go around the edge of an object, like a contour line, it's not an outline, but it's a line that actually moves across the form. Now, there's some times that we can actually see these lines in, uh, in nature, a cross-contour line. We may see it in, in a wrinkle that goes around uh, my shoulder here. This would be considered a cross-contour because it expresses the form underneath. Even this uh, collar expresses the shape of my neck and how the shirt is on my, uh, sits on my, uh, on my shoulders. Um, there are a lot of things. Eyebrows can actually be a form of a cross contour. It expresses the shape of the brow underneath it. So we'll see sometimes line. And if you're drawing someone full of tattoos, and you've got it made because there's cross contours all over that person. But cross contour is a, a way of expressing the form using line without using, without drawing the contour. And so. I want to show you today and do a demo for you of how to approach doing a cross contour drawing. So we have a special subject that I'm going to use and um, that is my good buddy Darth Vader. And now you're seeing a two-dimensional image here, but this is actually a photograph from what I was looking at as I was drawing this from life, sitting right there next to my drawing table. Now the purpose of this drawing is to only move my pencil in the path that my eyes are moving over the subject. So if I look down at my drawing, my pencil has to stop. But I'm going to try to do it. I might check where I am every once in a while. But I'm going to try to do it without looking at the drawing. So uh, I'm going to start. Uh, it really doesn't matter where you start. and start at any place, any given place. I'm going to just arbitrarily start, let's see, right here in the middle. And I'm going to find a place in the middle of the of the form. It's right there at the nose. And I see this form. Now I'm not drawing the edge. So uh, that shape that I just drew right there um, is more of the. I'm going to say that it's on the inside of that form. So I don't want to feel like I am moving around the edge of the form. So I just went up. I just went under this right here, that nose piece. Now I'm going to go here. There's an edge, and it goes back in space. I feel it kind of go back space. There is a kind of a corner here, and it's OK. I'm going to go straight down. It's a flat plane on the side. You know, one way to think of this, and it's draw I'm drawing kind of big here. That's OK. Up and over this piece. And wherever my eye wants to go, that is where, and there's a circular piece here 
And I'm not going to draw the circle, but I'm going to draw the flatness of that shape. And then it goes down in space. I know it goes back in space and then across. And then I'm just going to go up. Back up to where I think the nose is. Notice I just missed the nose. That's okay, because it doesn't matter what this looks like. And I can kind of see that it goes down. And there's another plane that goes straight. Now at this point, I'm going to go up that plane. And then it kind of dips in like a kind of a, a curved... Well, it's a curved surface. It's not just fully, uh, absolutely straight. And then it hits right below the eye orbit. And there's that kind of a, it looks to me from here, kind of a circular shape. And then, of course, the eyes, which is a lens. Now I'm going to pick up my pencil for a moment. Really doesn't look like much. But I am trying to convince myself that I am touching this form and moving my pencil around that form. Now what I was saying earlier is I want it to feel like, almost like I'm going over a geom, a, a, not a geometry, but a, um, a geography, like a topographic map that I'm feeling around up and over that nose, by the way. Now that nose is in the wrong place. It, it should be, and that's okay. Again, it doesn't matter what this looks like. What matters is that when I put my line down, I feel like it's moving across this form over the eye orbit. Now, there is the um, the headpiece, the top here, and it's disconnected. So I'm just going to kind of go th through space. It doesn't have to be touching the form that I want. I can just move over to that form. And now I'm right in the center there going down the bridge of the nose and it goes up and I'm going to follow up the top of it and I'm off the page I see but I'm going to go down that little ridge and around and down now I'm at that kind of eyebrow area and that turns the form changes and I am moving down it again it's a crazy drawing it's weird and if you're worried about how your drawings look, then you're going to get hung up on this. And that's okay that it doesn't look like anything. Again, now I'm moving a little bit faster than I would like you guys to. But we're back over to another eye orbit. Now, like I said, I can just kind of travel through space. There's this empty space between that and the eye. Go down, I'm on the eye again. Eye orbit. Oop, I'm at the corner there of the face. I can come down that. And I'm just gonna kind of, that's a flat area there. That's on that little um, um, circular area there at the bottom of the triangle. And then down to kind of the the chin area and it curves down now I'm gonna since I'm at the edge of my drawing here I'm just gonna kind of, kind of come up now here's the cool thing I'm gonna stop this for a moment just to show you something as I look at this I think there's that triangular shape where the little holes are cut out in the um, um, in the mask that actually is a cross contour it shows me the form underneath it and that's pretty cool up the triangular mass part again. There's the flatness, that little ridge there, and then down that flat plane. I'm going back up again, that um, that plane that kind of curves a little bit facing toward me. And then there's this little shelf area as I move over here. And then I can go over and down the side of that. Crazy. And again, I'm off the drawing. You're off your drawing. Now look, I'm going to go in a different direction here. Up, and it kind of goes around. I feel that pulling around that form right there. And that chin. See the direction of my line, how it moves. 
with the form that I'm seeing underneath it. Back again. Things are not going to line up, and that is perfectly okay. Again, this is about the experience of drawing, convincing yourself that you're feeling these forms underneath. Now I'm at the edge, but I'm going to jump through space, straight line, over to the uh, edge of the, uh, the helmet part. And look, instead of going on the outside, all I can see is the inside, so it, I feel it kind of curving back. <laughs> and emphasizing with my words, curving back. Um, and there it is. Now, I'm just going to kind of draw through this because I know it continues there. And back around this way, back over on that eye orbit, and to the top of the skull again, over the little ridge. The funny thing is, even though these proportions are completely off and things are not lining up. Now, I'm not drawing the edge, I'm drawing um, near the edge though, so it's, it's starting to, it almost looks like a contour. But I'm, I'm making sure that I'm on the outside of it there. But it is starting to actually kind of look like Darth Vader here if Darth Vader was like a warthog. Back in again, and there's that eye orbit. I'm coming in a different direction now, just going across that eye orbit, going across this way. I can change direction anytime I want to. Oops, just broke a pencil. Yeah, I'm kind of exhausting all the areas that I can go in for this demo. But it gives you guys a little bit of an idea of what a cross contour drawing. Let's do this. Let's go back up this, back to where I think the nose is because I'm not looking at it, and down, and then back down that triangle thing again, and down. And let's let that be my drawing. So that's the cool thing. This is this is my cross contour of Darth Vader. And you can actually see it here. You can see the eye orbits in here. You can kind of see the, the nose, the triangular part would be in here. So without even drawing the contour, the, the outside shape contour, I have given a representation just through the expression of the form with a line that crosses over the form. And that's really important when we're doing line drawings and we want to convey a sense of volume around something. What we need to do is make sure that our eye and our pencil are connecting to that volume. And that when we draw, we are drawing in space. Rather than just on a, a, a flat 2D surface, we need to imagine our pencil moving into space and wrapping around the object we're drawing. So that's cross-contour drawing. Using a line to show the form beneath it. And uh, there'll be other ways. I'm going to show, do some more videos to show you guys how to use cross contour in drawings. Uh, but do some of these. Spend about 20 minutes or so drawing something. Use a dark uh, pencil like I did or even ink. And keep your eye on what you're drawing. And don't worry what that drawing looks like, okay? What we're doing right now is just drawing. We're not worrying about making drawings. No beautiful masterpieces. We just want to have that experience. Hope that helps, and I'll see you guys next time.